Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today I am going to be doing the video's explanation solutions for the 2019 AP Physics 2 free response questions. Um, just a caveat, um, I think I did most of these right, but um, if there's any corrections, see in the description below. I also have a link to where the PDF versions of the, um, the solutions are uh, in the description below. So let's look at this first question here. So I have the figure above shows a particle with positive charge Q traveling with constant speed V naught to the right in the plane of the page. The particle is approaching a region shown by the dash box and contains a constant uniform field and the effects of gravity are negligible. On the figure below, draw a possible path of the particle in the region if the region contains only an electric field directed toward the bottom of the page. So if the E field is directed downward, a positive charge always follows the path of the electric field and so it will tend to just go down like this in this direction. Okay, on the figure below, draw a possible path for the, um, yeah, and so the direction F, you know, the force of the electric field is um, Q times the electric field. So the force is in the same direction as the electric field for positive charge. On the figure below, draw a possible path of the particle of the region contains only a magnetic field directed out of the page. So the direct, the magnetic field is like this, out of the page. I can put the dots in here if you want. Um, that's what it means to be out of the page. And we just use our right hand rule. Now my right hand rule is a little different than the fingers. I'll try to use the finger ones because that's like what's pretty common. Um, but the force due to a um, force due to a magnetic field due to, and a move, moving charge is uh, V cross B. So in this case, um, the force vector is your thumb, but we, you're, that's what you're trying to figure out. The V is the direction of the particle and B is the direction of the magnetic field so it's coming out of the page and so the thumb is going down and so that means the force is downward for a positive charge and so um, it also goes downward now initially it is downward but in a uniform field it actually moves kind of in a circular motion so there's a few paths you could have done you could do like a circle like this okay that would be one way if it's downward or you could have made it like a semicircle like you could have made it go down like this any of those are fine. As long as it kind of has like a circular arc to it, um, that's the most, whereas this one is a more of a parabolic arc, okay? For which of these previous situations is the motion more similar to that of a projectile in only a gravitational field near the Earth's surface, and why? Well, um, the electric field one is most similar because Earth's gravity field is like always a force directed towards the center of the Earth. Whereas this one is always directed in a circular motion, like the, the force is always changing um, as the particle changes directions. Whereas this one, the force is always downward regardless of the direction of the particle. So that's why E field is the correct answer here. It's similar to the Earth where the Earth is always pulling downward no matter which direction you're traveling. Whereas in the magnetic field, um, the direction of the force will depend on the direction that you're traveling. Okay, so another region of space contains electric field directed toward the top of the page and a magnetic field directed out of the page. So this is almost the same as the previous two examples, except the electric field is going upward. And it's a proton beam, so those are positive charges flowing. A horizontal beam of protons with a variety of speeds enters the region, as shown above. Protons exit the region at a variety of locations, including points 1 and 2. In a coherent paragraph length response, explain why some protons exit the region at point one and some exit at point two. So the trajectory, so the E field is pushing you upward. So if I look at a particular particle, the electric field is pushing upward for a positive charge and the magnetic field is pushing downward to some extent as I enter here. Now, the FB, FE is always constant. It's Q times the electric field. And the charge of a proton is always the same. And the electric field is, is a uniform and constant. Um, actually, it didn't say it was uniform, but it's directed upward. But the magnetic field is the one that um, depends on the velocity of the particle. So which force is bigger will depend on how fast it's traveling. When it's traveling slower, the magnetic field upward is going to be weak compared to the electric, sorry, the magnetic, the force downward is going to be weak compared to the electric field. And so the trajectory will be upward because the electric field will be stronger than the magnetic field in terms of the forces. 
but if the particle is moving really fast, then the, um, the magnetic field, the force due to the magnetic field will be stronger than the electric field. And so that's why. So point two is for faster protons. Faster Q, and then this is for slower Q. Okay. So hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.